To Be a Pilgrim is a small book which is a collection of the speeches of Cardinal Basil Hume who was the former Archbishop of Westminster. In this book we get a lot of his reflections on the holiness that we can practice through our humble tasks of life. Often we wonder how it is possible for us to become holy, to become attached to God when we are engrossed in the daily tasks of our life. And Carl Basil Hume says, holiness involves friendship with God. God's love for us and ours for him grows like any relationship with other people. We can become holy in any situation or circumstances. It's not where we are or what we do that matters. It's who we are and what we become. Then Cardinal gives us the following suggestions which are practical steps to foster a strong relationship with God. Here are his 10 points, which are very simple, but which would help us to become focused on our relationship with God. We have daily tasks, we have daily challenges, we have problems. How to find a way towards God in the midst of all these challenges and difficulties? These are the steps that the Cardinal offers us in order to develop a good relationship with God. One, he says, start the day with a morning prayer. And we have to call to mind the different things that we have to do. Ask God to bless all of them and make them acts of love. Second, if we know that there are going to be difficult moments or times when you will suffer, then accept them as crosses. Say, Thy will be done, dear Lord, not mine. Let all things bring me closer to Thee. Third point, set aside at least five minutes in the day in addition to morning and night prayers just to be alone with God. Fourth, during the day, things go wrong. We may be unjustly or fairly criticized, misunderstood, insulted or ignored. These are golden opportunities to grow in holiness. He tells us, bite your lips and say, thanks be to God. Fifth point, you will meet all kinds of people today. Some you like, others not. Try to see Christ in everyone you meet. Behave towards others as you expect them to behave towards you. So this is something we often forget. We want others to respect us, to show consideration to us. Colonel says, show the same consideration to other people. Then relationship will change. Sixth one, the most powerful means of growing in holiness is the reception of the sacraments. Sunday Mass should become the high point of your week. Do not neglect the sacrament of reconciliation. Then eighth point, holiness is not a private or personal affair. One has to get involved in serving the community. Most of us can visit an old or a sick person once in a while. Great social problems are resolved when ordinary people become concerned and do what they can to find solutions. Then, as an act of penance, he suggests the, the following. We might deprive ourselves of an hour of TV once in a while and do some spiritual reading. We might go to see a sick or old person instead of doing something we would enjoy doing. The key is to be able to say no to ourselves in order to say yes to God. The last point, tenth, 
is this remain a little person. It means that I have to remain small in my own estimate of myself. To be unimportant, whatever be the position I hold or the talents I have. Smile at yourself, at your failures. Have a sense of humor. It does not matter if others do not take seriously. God will take you seriously. What a beautiful way of life that he has given us in order to live a life of holiness. We don't have to do very heroic things. We can go about doing the small things of our life, but with the knowledge that we are always guided, protected, and moved by the Spirit of God in our lives.